Welcome back. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to make this origami stork designed by Kasha Hare. Okay, um, I'm going to make it using a piece of origami paper, but if you are somewhere else in the world or you're in class here with, with me, you're going to use a white piece of paper and uh, take the top edge, fold it down to the side, and <clears throat> line those two edges up and use your bone folder to crease along that diagonal then you're going to trim this bottom edge off like so so that you're starting with an origami square all right starting there you're going to need to make um, a bird base so I'm actually going to start by taking my paper here and folding it just like um, I already folded it in the previous step so we have that diagonal. Then you're going to open it up and fold it diagonal again corner to corner to have what I like to call the origami X. So it's looking something like this, those both being valley folds. Then flip your paper over and fold the bottom edge to the top like a book fold valley folding it so that crease will be opposite the other creases and then folding right hand side to the left hand side in a valley fold as well and then when you open that up you'll have the mountain folds on the diagonal and you will pull that down into what's called the preliminary base or sometimes in class I refer to it as the Starbucks base and it should look something like that okay then <clears throat> we're gonna start making the bird base this is a complex model because the bird base I would say is a complicated thing to do uh, you're gonna take there's two flaps the top one and the bottom one take the f top flap and line it up fold it into the center so you have um, an acute right triangle like that and then do the same thing on the other side so it's symmetrical. Leave yourself just a little bit of room there on the center. Make sure you don't cross over that center line. Okay, use your bone folder so it's nice and stiffly creased. And then we have this top triangle that's right up there. We're going to fold that over so that it lines up with the line that was created by those two triangles. And crease that really well. Then you're going to take those three flaps and unfold them. And there's two flaps, one in between, one that's on top and the one that's underneath. You're going to take the one that's on top and reverse fold it right along this crease here, upwards like that. And then these two sides, this one will come in along the center and you'll have to reverse this valley fold into a mountain so it goes like that. And likewise you'll reverse the other side and it will look something like that when you're done. Okay, then you're going to do that on the back side. So flip the model over and do the same thing. Folding this side in and this side into the center. So you have those two triangles. Unfold them open up that top flap, reverse that fold up, and fold these two into the center, reversing this top flap to a mountain fold instead of a valley fold. So you have this. Okay. Now that you have that, you're starting at step one of the stork. Okay, in class that, that part was on the back, how to make the bird base. And then this part is starting step one of the stork. It says to rotate your model so it looks like this. You have the two um, open edges here and the closed edges here. Take the bottom top or the bottom edge of this flap and fold it in along the center like this. and fold this top flap down in along the center like 
this. Okay, increase those two nicely with your bone folder. So you've got a nice strong crease. The next step is a little confusing and you have to look from step two to three to see that they want this back flap here to be mountain folded and reversed back this way. Okay, now to, from step three to step four looks a little confusing in the directions. It number one looks like you're supposed to fold it like that. But this is wrong. Double check with that picture so that you can make sure you're folding it right. What it's supposed to look like is that these two pieces are going to be folding kind of up in a valley fold and this these two pieces here and here fold down and it will end up looking something like that. So instead of mountain folding this top down like that, you're going to actually valley fold it together this way and then you have to kind of fold those back flaps down. So it will look like that. That's what step four looks like in the directions. Then there's this back piece, or there's two flaps, well there's a bunch of flaps. There's one, a third one, or a second one in the center, and then a back one. You're going to take the top flap and you're going to fold it right along this line here. And you're just going to fold that back here to the right. And then you're going to take the back flap, this one here, you're going to mount and fold it around the back so that it matches. So it will look something like that. Okay. Then it says take these two flaps again and you're going to valley fold them so that this edge is going vertically. Like that. Okay, And you'll have a little bit of space right here on that middle area. It says do the same thing with the back flap, mount and fold it behind. So it goes like that. All right and your model should look something like this. This is what step six starts at. Then in step six it says two things. You're going to take this back tail and you're going to inside reverse fold it up. So I'm going to just fold it like that and then I'm going to open it and inside reverse fold. And if you're doing this model inside reverse folds should be old hat for you. I'm just going to kind of adjust it so it's kind of pointing the right direction. There you go. And then it says take this these two flaps here, you're going to fold them up along that old center line. This one being a valley fold and the one around the back being a mountain fold, but I'm just going to flip my model over and fold this up that direction. Like that. Okay, so that's the end of step six and this is what step seven starts out as. And we're going to work on the neck here and it says to fold it this direction and then take that and outside reverse fold it. So you're going to fold that back open and outside reverse fold it like so. Then you're going to take the head and you're going to outside reverse fold that as well. You're going to flip it over so it looks something like that valley folding it and then outside reverse fold that so it looks like this and then pleat fold the inside of this beak like so and then inside pleat fold that so that the beak looks something like that. And that's how you complete the Origami Stork by Kashihare.